Hi everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to analyze the stock market graph. Before we analyze the stock market graph, we need to analyze a candlestick graph. So a candlestick graph is basically what a stock market graph is made out of. Tiny pieces of candlestick graphs. So when we look at a candlestick graph, we need to look at the first point. So this is the lowest point on the candlestick graph. This point would be the uh, market low point. So as we look at the, so this is basically the lowest point during that time period of that stock. And then over here, we see this is the market opening point. So this is what the company lists the stock price as during this time frame. Then over here, this is the market close point. This is basically what the company at the end of the day says this is the final stock price for that day. And then over here, that last point, that's the market high point. So basically the market high point is the highest stock price during that time frame. So we analyze this candlestick graph. Let's go to the stock market graph. So when we look at a stock market graph, let's plot a point here and we will go to the highest point. So this is an upwards trend. This upwards trend would be when a lot of people rush in and buy the stock. So that could be, the reasons for that could be news, that new product or something, and that would cause a sudden like splurge of people to buy the stock. So when people buy the stock, the stock price goes up. So now, you might be wondering, wait, why did the stock price go down? Hmm. So the stock price went down because people who bought it here, and they might have sold it here. When they sell, because they might have sold it because they made so much profit from this whole, how much they made. So they would have sold it here, and by selling it, the price of the stock goes down. So that's what in market terms it's called the pullback so let me just graph the pullback this is called a pullback so when we look at a pullback that's basically just the stock price going down but you don't need to worry about that that's not as important people get too much focused on the stock price going down what they don't realize is this is a very this is the most important thing it's called the resistance point. The resistance point is initial high point. And if the stock price from the pullback point exceeds the a stock price of the last high point, that would be a bullish graph. And that's what traders are looking for. They always want a stock price that goes up, pullback, higher so as we can see this is the resistance point when we notice the resistance point let me just bring that back here so so this point completely exceeded this resistance line and it went all the way up till here can't even graph it goes all the way up up here so being up there, it completely ex uh, exceeded the resistance point. So this, like I said before, would be the resist would be a bullish graph. So again, summarizing, bullish graph is when the graph goes up, um, and then has a pullback and then goes up. So this would be an example of a um, bullish graph, like I said. And when you're looking at the best time to buy a stock. It would probably du be during this pullback period because if you analyze the graph previously and the company seems to have multiple of these um, dips and sudden uh, spikes that would be a good time to, that would indicate a good time to buy the stock at a pullback at the pullback because you would get the stock for cheaper and it would probably exceed the resistance points of the previous high point. 
So that's just to quickly summarize how to read a stock market graph. If you like this video, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're already down there, just subscribe. So thank you.